Consider the Venn diagram that shows a number of elements in each set. Use this information to answer the questions below. The number of elements in a set is the cardinality of that set. The cardinality of set A is often noted using one of these two notations here. The first question is how many elements are in set A, which is the cardinality of set A, which we can indicate as N of A. Looking at the Venn diagram, here is set A. The cardinality of set A is equal to the number of elements in set A, and therefore the cardinality of set A is equal to five plus four, which is equal to nine. Notice of the nine elements in set A, five are only in A, and four are in A and in B. Next, how many elements are in set B, which is the cardinality of set B? Now here is set B. Notice there are four plus eight or 12 elements in set B, and therefore the cardinality of set B is 12. Of the 12 elements in set B, eight are only in B, and four are in set B and set A. Next, how many elements are in set A and set B? This refers to the intersection of set A and set B, where the intersection of two sets A and B contains only the elements that are in both sets A and B. The intersection is written using one of these two notations here. So the number of elements in set A and set B is equal to the cardinality of A intersect B. Looking at the Venn diagram, the intersection of set A and B is this overlapping region here. And notice how the number of elements in this overlapping region or the intersection of set A and set B is four, and therefore the cardinality of A intersect B is equal to four. The next question is how many elements are in set A or set B? This refers to the union of set A and set B, where the union of two sets A and B contains all the elements in either set A or set B, or the elements in both sets. The union is written using one of these two notations here. So the number of elements in set A or set B is the cardinality of A union B. So the elements in set A or set B, or the elements in both sets, would be the elements in this region here, where all these elements are in set A or set B. The number of elements in A union B is five plus four plus eight, which is equal to 17. The cardinality of A union B is equal to 17. Of the 17, five are only in A, four are in both set A and set B, and eight are only in set B. Next, how many elements are not in set A? This refers to the complement of set A, where the complement of set A contains everything that is not in the set A. The complement of A can be written using any of these notations here. The number of elements not in set A is equal to the cardinality of A complement. So looking at the Venn diagram, well we know this is set A, which means the number of elements not in A would be the number of elements in this region here. This is a complement. So the number of elements not in set A is equal to eight plus 12, which is 20. The cardinality of A complement is equal to 20. Notice of the 20 elements not in A, eight of them are only in B, and 12 of them are in the universal set, but not in A or B. The last question is how many elements are not in set B, which would be the cardinality of B complement. So here's set B. We're looking for the number of elements that are not in set B, which would be the number of elements in this region here. The cardinality of B complement is five plus 12, which is equal to 17. Notice of the 17 elements not in B, five of them are only in A, and 12 of them are in the universal set, but not in A or B. I hope you found this helpful.